Let's get into the world stage events. Russia pipeline gas flows to China have increased since the Ukraine war. So while we have Sleepy Creepy telling Xi that uh, you're not going to be allowed to support them militarily, well, we're already in the middle of the currency war. We're already in the middle of the resource war. So, you know, Joe obviously is just representing us as a complete embarrassment, and we've been set up for failure. This thing will be destroyed. Not only is the U.S. dollar losing its reserve currency status, unfortunately, I do believe that there is some military deal in the offing that will set us up for embarrassment once again, similar to Afghanistan. And God bless our troops. It kills me to see this happen. Kills me to see that we got 7,000 troops getting uh, deployed out here into Europe right now. It's, it's terrible. It's terrible to see. All because we couldn't have Zelensky in Ukraine, the puppet that Zelensky is. He won't just come out and say that he's not going to join NATO. That's all he has to do. Just come out and say you're not going to join NATO and it'd be all good and dandy. Russia doesn't want war with Europe. Europe's funding Russia right now by buying up all of their natural resources and gas and oil. Right? Now, Putin does have objectives, and I'm not denying that. I've been listening to Jim Rickards talk about how um, essentially Putin is blowing up, destroying pipelines in Ukraine so that they don't have to pay the toll to Ukraine anymore. They want to set up the Nord Stream line to Germany so they can just send their direct supply to Germany without having to pay the tolls as the natural gas and oil goes through Ukraine. So... So Jim Rickards was talking about how he's been destroying those. So, you know, that's why I don't get into the debate or conversation. I don't care. Good guy, bad guy, Putin. I, I'm not here for that. He's got his objectives. He's moving. He's not being stopped. Um, but I don't think that he's really looking to get this into a full blown out war. Meanwhile, our side is sending more troops, is ready, talking about what we need to do. We need to uh, get military equipment on the ground. We need to establish a no-fly zone. We need to engage in conflict with Russia. Our side is the side that scares me. But I do understand that all the world is a stage. But with that being said, they, they do set up real events where real people are affected and real lives are lost. We know this time and time again. They've committed plenty of false flags to lead us into military conflicts.